Hello class, welcome back. All right, so today we are going to be learning how to draw three fun farm animals, a cow, a sheep, and a chicken. I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step step, uh, to learn how to draw each one of these. So if you would like to draw maybe just the cow, that's the first one I'm gonna be doing, and you could just do that, or you could skip ahead and learn how to draw the sheep or the chicken. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some paper and something to draw with, and let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start with our cow um, and we're going to do the head first. Uh, for the head, we're going to do an oval shape right about here in our paper. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the body, get our two big shapes out of the way. Uh, for the body, we're also going to do an oval shape, but it's going to start right about here. Uh, it's going to go around and back. Okay. All right, uh, so now that we have the head and the body, we're gonna go ahead and go back and add the details to our cow's face. So we're gonna start by adding kind of a curved line right about there towards the bottom. Add two ovals for the nostrils, and then two eyes, and fill them in. And then we're going to do the ears. So for the ears, you're just going to do a curve over like that. Put your pen or pencil back down at the end of that line and bring it back in. And then we're gonna add another line that follows the same direction like that to kind of give it a more three-dimensional look. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Back in and add that line. Great, now we can add some horns one and two. All right, our next step is we're going to add a tail. For that, you're just gonna start right here at the end, curve over and down. And then you're gonna do that same thing again. Connect it at the bottom, and then you're gonna add kind of a teardrop shape or like a leaf shape for the hair at the end of the tail. All right, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add our legs. For the legs, we're gonna do, let's see, two lines that go straight down, two vertical lines. And then we're gonna do a line at the bottom. After we do that, you're gonna do a U shape and color it in. There's one leg. Then we're gonna do another one and line across and U shape, color it in. We're gonna do the same thing back here. Right, and of course, um, you can't have a cow without the spots. So let's go ahead and add the spots and color them in quickly. And they do not have to be perfect circles at all. Maybe one more up there. And then we are going to add an udder as well. So we're gonna go down like this. This is where we get the milk from. And back up. All right, and that is our cow. Um, now you don't really need to color much on this one. Maybe you could just add, let me try and find one of my pinks. This is a light peach color. Let's see, a pale orange, that'll work. Um, if you want, you can just kind of color the bottom of the head right here where the mouth would be, and maybe the udder. I'm gonna fill the tail in, and maybe the insides of the ears too. So not much to color on this one, and it's all done. All right, next, uh, we're gonna move on to the uh, sheep. So if you want to follow along with that one, you can do that one next. All right, now we're going to move on to the sheep. So we're going to start with the head and we want it to look like it's kind of fluffy at the top. So we're going to use a line that looks like this, it looks like a bunch of little rainbow shapes that are connected. Okay, 
And then underneath that, we're going to do a U shape. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and add some ears. Shape like that on each side. And then the eyes. And the nose. And then basically U on each side of that. One, two. All right, our next step, we're gonna add the body. So again, we're gonna use the same line we used right here to make it look nice and fluffy. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and add a little tail and the legs. For the legs, we're just gonna do some lines that come down like this. Close it off at the bottom and then add, it's like a little rectangle for the hoof. Okay, and we're gonna do that three more times. Line down, line down, cross, hoof. All right, and there's our sheep. Again, there's not really much to color on this one. We could do the little face, but other than that, he's gonna be fluffy and white. So, let's see. There we go. Sheep is all done. Good job, guys. All right, and our final uh, farm animal today is going to be a chicken. Uh, for our chicken, we are going to start with a rainbow line. It goes like that. It's gonna be the top of his head. Then we're gonna keep going at this line right here. We're going to make it go down a little bit more and curve back up. Like that, okay? Next step, we're gonna add the tail feather. So this is gonna be the head kind of the back and up here is going to be where his little tail is. So we're going to just do some curvy lines, kind of little rainbow shaped lines like that. And then we're going to do another big line. We're going to do a big curved shape at the bottom that goes all the way back over here. So we're going to go down and back up just like that. Okay, so that's the body of our chicken. Now let's go ahead and give him some details. So let's give him a beak. We're gonna go out, in, out, in. An eye. Of course, chickens have two eyes, but this is uh, his profile. So you're just seeing him from the side. So just like us, if you looked at uh, yourself from the side or your mom or dad or sister or brother, you would just see one eye if you're viewing them from the side. So just one eye and some little feathers at the top. We're gonna do a wing right here. Start with a curved line. And again, those kind of wavy rainbow shaped lines for the wing. All right, next step, we're going to do the legs. Now you can keep the legs super simple and just do lines. Let's see if I can find a piece of paper here. So you could just do a line down out, out, out to three lines at the bottom. But if you want, you can also them have a bit more form by doing two lines down. A line here, go back up. Line over here, back up. And line down, okay? Two. Just like that. And there is our chicken. Again, not much to color. Um, let me grab a few colors. Of course, I'm gonna do the beak, orange, the legs, and also a plus on doing the legs like this versus just doing lines, you have something to color in. Okay, and do a little red at the top. And there we go, all done. Three fun farm animals. All right, thank you guys for following along. And of course, if there is anything that you guys would like to draw or want to learn how to draw, if you guys could comment on the video and something you might want to learn how to draw, and I can make a video for that. All right, thanks for following along. I'll see y'all later.